everybody, my name is Joe. Welcome back to SNES is Life. Today we're going to be playing Boxing Legends of the Ring for the Super Nintendo, released in November 1993. And it's a boxing game. Let's take a look at the cover art. Made by Electrobrain, a company I've never heard of in my life. This is also a game I've also never heard of in my life. Uh, but it's a boxing game, right? How crazy can it be? Uh, I would like to imagine it's Super Punch-Out style, but I'm sure that it is not. Because I have looked at the back of the box, and it does not look like Punch-Out. Uh, I guess closest thing I can think of is it maybe reminds me a little bit of George Foreman. So, take a look at the back of the box here. Eight legendary middleweight boxers. Sugar Ray Leonard or about a bunch of dudes I don't know other than Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... You basically just got to pick two fighters and go to town. And it's got this weird over-the-shoulder looking perspective. We get six screenshots here. Everything looks pretty decent. I don't know if these qualify as sprites. or I mean, they're not polygonal, but they look almost 3D. Um, so I'm intrigued by it, to say the least. I could not find a manual, which is not surprising since I've never heard of the game. We're just going to assume that no one else has ever heard of the damn game. That's kind of the way it goes. But we'll get it started here. We'll kick this pig and see how she squeals. Boop. I have a headache. So, yeah. It kind of reminds me of Mindscape, that logo. I don't know that that's, I wonder if like, I wonder, let me look up. Electro Brain Creations. No, no, no. Great company, there's more than video in Salt Lake City. Active from 90 to 98. Not part of Mindscapes as far as I can tell. Although the logo looks very similar. But. Let's see what we get here. I mean it looks really interesting. Like a little intro music there. This is a two player game, so I'll give them that. Oh lord, left, move left, right, move right, line up. Why is it jab? Left hook, head, left hook. Okay, well, I guess controls anyway. Exhibition rounds. Skull level. Battle Legends skull level. Near perspective, far perspective, switch perspective. We'll just go with what it sets it to, I guess. Hey, monkey, how the hell are you tonight? This is a two player game. I don't have a little crap for second player here. Sugar Ray Leonard. So I have to sleep. I got a headache, dude. It's the wife's birthday. We went out for dinner and drank too much. <laughs> That's kind of neat. It looks like a, I guess like a ticket stub there. Yeah, six round. SEC. What are you up to tonight, there, monkey? Working as usual. Good voice sampling clip. 
The microphone looked way out of place. say it's bad it looks it looks really neat i like the blood and split this <laughs> split sweat splatter you get when you get them i don't know how it decides i guess your boxing mitts are your health Maybe it's your stamina? Hmm. No music, which is always a downside to any sports game. But it does look pretty decent. trying to button mash to death here. That's good super punch out thumbs down. <laughs> I mean look you're not wrong but how many things are as good as super punch out? I love super punch out. It's such a good game. Jesus. I think graphically I think it's actually pretty impressive. Like I think it looks good. Very realistic. I mean, comparable to, you know, everything else I've played. Like, don't get me wrong, Punch-Out looks amazing, or Super Punch-Out, but it, it doesn't look realistic at all. It's just very cartoony and kind of crazy, which is fine. It's Punch-Out. Like, that's, that's what we go to Punch-Out for, is cartoony and kind of crazy. Like, we don't go to it for realism. That's the round. Alright, so I like that uh, after 150 punches, landed 77, 51%, he landed 82, so he beat the shit out of me, really. I, I punched more, but landed fewer, uh, which would explain why my glove, I think the glove is your stamina, and your face is your health, I guess.
That guy's face is all bruised up. I guess technically that means I'm winning, right? Like he's getting beat up more than me. Definitely swinging more than he is, though. Is there music? I can hear punches and grunts in your button mashing. Maybe there is a crowd. I can hear the crowd. They kind of cheer uh, when you land a good punch or two. But no, no music, unfortunately. Just go down, you bastard. It's another round down. Look how beat up he is. You got a higher percentage than him that time. I don't know that I ever see going down. It's gonna be a short game tonight, I bet. Cause I gotta tell you, I'm not uh, not really digging on this for an hour. That's a fact. I would love to knock a brother down. Though. Oh shit. Try to do my like super punch and take him down. Well, there I landed my super. There's lights flashing. Yeah, he went down. God damn, about time. Admittedly, I'm not boxing anymore. That's a punch up, bro. See, it looks good. Uh, actual box. Yeah, so these are actual boxers. I don't know how much they look like the actual dudes that they represent. Because I'm not like a, a, a boxing fan or anything. So I don't know what any of these dudes look like. But they are actual, like, boxer names, I guess. I tell you though, from the boxing matches I have seen, they don't throw anywhere near this many punches. Ah, <laughs> oh, video games. I mean, look for for the era, 1993, man. This is this game looks really good, actually. Like very realistic looking. The the body shading, the musculature, the shapes. I mean, it. Someone put a lot of effort into making this game look decent. I think the problem with it is it's boxing. Like, it's a sports game. I don't know. Sports games have never been that interesting to me. But I think what speaks to that more is, you know, if you ask someone, hey, name a boxing game, you know, name a boxing game. What are you going to name? You're not going to name, you know, George Foreman's Boxing or King of the Ring Boxing or Boxing Legends. You're going to say Punch Out or Super Punch Out. Um,. Or punch out returns, or you know, I, I remember there was a boxing game I think during like the N64 era that got pretty popular. I can't remember what the fuck it was called though. So that tells you how popular it was. I mean, it's slightly more popular than other things, but yeah, like everybody, if you ask anybody generally, name a boxing game, they're gonna come up with punch out. So. Looks phenomenal. Beats another F1 game. Mike Tyson's punch. Yeah, Mike Tyson's punch. You're right. It's way better than the F1 racing game. For God's sakes, we've played enough of that shit. I think this is maybe... 
This may only be like the third boxing game we've played for the system. There was George Foreman's KO Boxing. I feel like there was another one, and then this one. I don't think we've gotten to punch out yet. Man, slam, man down. Because punch out is the best. You're absolutely right. Punch out is the best. There's a reason everyone knows what punch out is. Because it, it did the game right the first time. And that's all it had to do. And everything else just built on it. Tired, look at him. <laughs> As he unleashes a fucking volley of hits on me. Stay down, you prick. Even the ring girl looks pretty decent. They put a lot of work into the sprites. If these are indeed what you would call sprites, I guess. I mean, I guess they're sprites, right? They're the characters. And they certainly put a lot of work into the animation frames. be like a real boxing fan to to get into this come here fella Like, uh, I think that fading light means I'm hurt at this point. That's kind of an interesting idea. Like, 
when your dude gets hurt, it's like, oh, you're kind of losing it. Yeah, man down, got him. That's the other thing I missed the beginning. Is it two play? It is two players. Uh, with two players, I assume it would be more entertaining to watch or play anyway. God damn, just comes right in with a flurry of blows. Come here, fella. Come on. I've knocked him down like five times. Stay down, you bastard. Yeah, I don't think he's getting up this time. Go! We got a little replay of the knockouts. Nice. Got the poetry turns to KO stars. Yeah, I think that's kind of neat. It's. It's got a lot of nice touches, it seems. It's just boring. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> like, I think, uh, I think graphically it looks great. And it plays fine. No music, which is a downside. It's just boring, which sucks. <laughs> 650 punches. God, landed only over half of it. Uh, he landed way more than me, but. There K.O. Hearn is at three minutes into round five. That's it. Well, that's boring as sin. And it's 8.23. Controls feel responsive? The controls are responsive. I'm curious what career is, I guess. Oh, you gotta create your own boxer. God, that's a hell of a, a long possible name there. Someone's about to get taken down by Dickweed. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So I can be a street boxer, a military boxer, an Olympic boxer. Interesting. I wonder what chin means. And we'll go with uh, go Olympic. I even get it customized a little bit, huh? I don't know what chin is. We'll take a little bit of that and some higher punch power. Oh, no. Oh, shit. You get to, like, up all your special powers. Let's just, let's make the left jab ridiculous. How about that? And left uppercut, yeah. We're just going to make all, we're a left-handed boxer. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And jabs as high as it's gonna go. Super punches and uppercut. Alright, everything's left handed here. I'm tarred strong. Got one good arm. I'm gonna beat someone's ass. <laughs> 
my left arm, my right arm tied behind my back. This is gonna end poorly, probably. You could, but I think I pressed the wrong button. I just hit start and it bounced to the next menu. Look out. Left arm coming in. I'll throw a shitty right hand here and there. Just to make you feel good about yourself. How's that feel? Mm -hmm. I went the super uppercut. Did it with my right arm though, which feels wrong. Look at him. Round one, you're already feeling fatigued, son. Throwing all the punches. Man down. Bam. <laughs> Stay down, son. You don't want to mess with this. Oh, look at him. Got up on the nine count. Just keep walking into it. You're going to regret it. Oh, look at you. Coming back at me. Yeah. Wham. 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 Body shots. Right, son. Shouldn't mess with the great left hander. Yeah, he's out. Ding, ding, ding. Get a replay right in the face. Dude. I wonder what a dude like that would look like. It would be realistically like. If you had that much strength in just one arm, you'd have like a Popeye arm and then like a little baby arm. You'd be like, I'm gonna punch you. Wham! Just knock a dude out. <laughs> Dickweed. Graziano. Now, do I get a... Do I get to like change my stats at all? I do. Oh no, that's just the guy I'm about to fight. There's James Bond, bands, conventional bar stuff. Megan Lomas, lack of defense makes for an exciting slugfest. Oh, I'm a slugfest with him, don't you worry. I did that already. I was hoping I'd get to like upgrade my. Oh, I do get to upgrade a little bit. Sweet. Train for next fight. I think we all know this is going into punch power. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get it. I'll drop this dude. Let's get ready to rumble. It's funny how good all the other stuff looks. That microphone looks like some real jank, like MS Paint pixels.
didn't know. Somebody better tell you what the rock is cooking. It feels like it, yeah. It feels like the mic thing was a really added piece, like, right at the end. Considering how well shaded all the other stuff is, like, the mic is, like, gray and black speckles. It just looks awful comparatively. Grappling with me. You trying to hug me? Go away. I'm supposed to knock you down when you grab on. They do like the dude right there with the mustache and there's another guy with the mustache it's the same face but put a pair of sunglasses on him and you got the girl with the pearl earrings same face just two different hair colors the point is they put a lot of effort into making the game look pretty decent and then you get something like the microphone that just stands out as like super lazy and that's that maybe that's where all the money came from right there i'm now seeing the hbo logo like, this is from the era where HBO always hosted the pay-per-view prize fights and stuff. God, you bastard, just go down, would you? Not gonna happen in round one, huh? Can't give it to me. She looks like she's walking with a limp. Once he throws a combo or two in there, he really goes at it. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Shit. I punched myself out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yep. So I think the ring girl is the same. Again, I think they just changed the color of the hair in the bikini. I mean, if you look in the crowd, you can see the repeat. You know what the game is missing? And this is probably one of the things that makes Punch Out so successful. Is like, in the end, this is just a boxer and another boxer and another boxer and another boxer. Like, every bad guy in Super Punch Out and Punch Out is a unique dude who does a bunch of weird shit and has a different pattern. And, like, is. And don't get me wrong, like, there's some sprite redresses in Punch Out, obviously. Like, Bad Clown. And Bear Hugger is almost exactly the same. But, like, it's still unique. Like, they have different moves and different things to watch for. And it's just way more interesting than this shit. And that's a bummer. Because I don't know that this game is actually all that bad. It's just kind of boring, frankly. Hey, Rob, how's it doing? I missed the last stream. What was your opinion on Secret of Mana? Yeah, there's no personality, Monkey. Exactly right. Uh, Secret of Mana, we gave a thumbs up. I played it for two hours because uh, it was Saturday night. And the game looks great. It sounds great. It plays decently. It's far more entertaining than your standard like JRPG because it's not turn-based. You can avoid fights if you want. Although, I mean, obviously, it is still an RPG, so there's still grinding to be done. Uh, it, it's a solid game, though, and I enjoyed the play of it that I had. Now, I only got... But I got the spear, the sword, and the axe, and I got the sprite to join my party. So I didn't get to the third character. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it, we gave it a thumbs up. It's a good game. Like, I can definitely understand why so many people like it. And now we're playing this game, which is not punch out, <laughs> is really what I can say for it, you know? Sims of my way into it. Just let him hit me till he's tired. <laughs>
That and I'm also really bad at blocking. It'd be worth picking out the $30 Canadian for mana collection for Switch, you think? Yes, it is worth I mean, probably, yeah. I mean, I've heard nothing but good things about the Secret of Mana Collection. Um, I don't know if the other games in the Mana series play like Secret of Mana. You know, I mean, if they're more traditional JRPGs, then I'd probably pass on it myself. Uh, but Secret of Mana is definitely something I dig on. Rob, do you know, do the other mana games play more like Secret of Mana or more like traditional JRPG? All mana games are action RPGs. What are the other ones? I don't even know what the hell they are. All I know is Secret of Mana. I knew there were others in the collection, but I don't know which ones, what they're called, or what the names of them are. It's interesting if you grapple long enough the ref comes out and is like break it up <laughs> landing one last punch first mini game was a Game Boy game released in the US as Final Fantasy Adventure the third game in the Switch collection is the SNES sequel that never made out of Japan officially until its release and then got a remaster. What's the third one called? Also, I think I'm about done with this shit. <laughs> um, we're just going to call this one. Look, graphically, I think the game looks great. I think that whoever took the time and effort to do all the shading work on this pixel art and sprite work is did a superb job. Like, the crowd has some movement. There's some definite detail in there. Uh, the muscles and everything look phenomenal. The animation looks great. I think the game really, really looks good. Uh, well, yeah. What if my Switch mode brother is sipping a spray, but I'll pick it up. Trials of Mana. Um, sound is okay. There is no music, which I dislike. I always dislike the fact there's no music. I'm just realizing that I have the exact same portrait sprite as the guy I'm fighting, which is kind of entertaining. Uh, gameplay wise, it's pretty simple. There's a lot of, I mean, there's only really like three buttons, four buttons you need. So L and R both do the grapple. If you get next to the guy, you'll grapple him. And then Y is your left and A is your right. And then it's just combinations of up, down, left, and right along with your A or Y button. And those are your different punches. And then select will throw a super punch, which I guess is stronger than the others. Um, so controls are fine, if not limited, uh, which is acceptable. I mean, every game. I mean, how much movement can you really do in a boxing ring, right? Uh... I want to thumbs down it. I as good as it does look. It's just, you know, like me and Monkey says, boring. It's it doesn't have the soul uh, or the personality that Punch Out does. Dick Lou is my favorite boxer growing up. You're damn straight. There's nothing like a boxer. Agreed. Um, yeah, I wouldn't pick this game up. I wouldn't recommend it unless you're like a huge boxing fan. And then sure, go for it. Knock yourself out. I think it looks great. And there's something to be said for that. But, you know, it, 
it's I don't know. I mean, again, just it's just straight boxing. Every dude is kind of the same, except for like their strength and probably speed. Uh, and maybe there's some pattern recognition in here that I'm not picking up on, which is possible. But it's not uh, it's not punch out levels of entertainment. That's a fact. So I'm gonna give this a big hearty thumbs down. Let's see. It's Sunday, Wednesday. I'll be back on. I get to pick one of the two games that look decent. Um, shit, nothing looks decent. Actually, it all looks awful. <laughs> I guess, uh, why is my Langing Home PS2 video 3 spinoffs, PS1 paired to Jesus? It's a lot of games in the Mana series. I don't know. I think Wednesday I'll play something else. I don't know. Either tennis or a fighting game, maybe. <laughs> why not get the sports out of the way early? So that's it. I'm going to go take some evil and take a nap. So thanks a lot, guys. Rob, Monkey, anybody else who lurked. Uh, appreciate you guys hanging out. Have a good night. Peace. Top-notch quality.